Wow. How are these plants still intact? They must have been subject to a very sudden drop in temperature while still alive. What is this place? Well, Remaining connected to one's natural world is important for a person's well-being. A fitting starting point for those entering the structure, don't you think? Hey! That's nice of them. Hey! Hey guys, it's Jabby! Or as you go, Jabby back. Come with me. And you'll be in a Chinese garden on a tundra. Do you see the Life in perfect stillness. Um. The flowers defying the hoarfrost. As you have defied the emptiness of space to arrive here. I, I guess. Pretty, I Which guess. Which one are you? Pardon me? Which one of these blooms best embodies your spirit? Seriously? It's important I know these things in the Seriously? balancing of illuminatory ergonomics. Fancy words do not make this any less idiotic. Go ahead, Addy. There are no wrong choices. Uh, yellow, red. I've only seen yellow and By red. All means, take your time if you need it. Wind chime. You remember that you're choosing a flower, right? Yes. Now hold your horses. Uh, sure. How about this one? A solid choice. You walked an unsteady path to get here, and I think you've come in search of comfort, perhaps. Or you wish to become part of something bigger than yourself. I'm making the lighting adjustments now. You can make your way to the artifact display by the boardwalk. Oh, hey, the lighting is much better now. Okay. Uh, I don't know. It's, is that an artifact display? Over there? Under the boardwalk. We'll be having some fun. Do you recognize any of the objects in this section of the garden? I'd love to know what you think of them. For the calibration process. Calibration. Fox statue. An anvil. Lantern. Uh, it's just examining them, so let's examine. Is this a lantern? An expression of our certainty in the flow of time. How so? A craftsman spent months carving this remarkable device based on the absolute certainty that after day, night would follow. All right, I follow. Am okay. I doing this right? You are doing splendidly. I'm Yay. sorry. This cannot possibly be necessary. Temperature preferences can vary considerably between individuals. Careful calibration is essential. How about above freezing and we proceed? It's really up to Addy. If you don't wish to consider more objects, I can set the temperature within a survivable range and you can move to the pergola in the center of the room. I have no idea what this is. Pergola is a, a fun weapon word. weapon or tool of some kind? It's a device for working metal. Why do you suppose it's in this garden, Addy? It could be a symbol of hard work. An industrious future. Or a laborious past, perhaps. Uh, What's the point of this, Addy? I'm an explorer. I'm here to learn. Fair enough. Ooh, Glintz. This must be terra classical, or made in the style. The ancient Greeks boarded their ships and set out to explore the world, to discover its gods and conquer its monsters. You are an explorer, Addy. But are you here to meet a god or to slay some beast, I wonder? Or okay, no You're last not a planner, does. are you? I've been told that. This statue could be outer colonial. It's simple, but it's quite beautiful, I guess. And why would its beauty matter? People like pretty things. People do like pretty a human things. truth spanning thousands of years. Well, it's pretty. It's what good would to look you say at. these objects have in common? They're artifacts from long before the building of the station. The things we leave behind say something about us, don't they? What a society leaves behind is all we have in understanding how they lived. But we're interested in what you were willing to leave behind in order to come here. 
Mm. Haven't left a whole lot, to be honest. Getting in your head. That's all I will need to set the perfect temperature. Finally, you can move to the pergola in the center of the room. This What's looks like this Pacific though? Revival. Part of an archway, maybe. That's a pretty big piece to ship all this way. So it must be important. Even though it's no longer holding up a roof. I guess its purpose has changed. As can yep. happen with people, too. That's very true. Uh, perfect timing. The room is fully compressed, and we can go about setting oxygen levels. Call me old-fashioned, but how about the traditional 21%? Go ahead and seat yourself at the center of the pergola. Pergola! Pergola is a fun good. word. Now, when you're ready... Ooh, there's nice grain in the helmet. wood. My helmet? Of course. You can't sample the air I've prepared with it on. And you're sure it's safe? Your well-being is the most important thing, Addy. I'm certain it is safe. Now, uh, okay. rolls and bones. Take that chance. Now I want you to take a deep breath. Suck it on in. A nice, deep breath. Hold it there. Three, two, one, and release. Beautiful. And when you're ready, another deep breath in. Another deep breath in. Deep as you can, Addy. Hold it. Holding. Three, two, one, and release. Release it. Very good, Addy. Feel all that built up stress from your long journey here release into the ether. Oh, ether is a disproven shut up concept. Any energy and take in another life nurturing breath. Fill those marvelous lungs. Hold it. Three, two, one, and release. Wonderful. Out we go. Even the station has a limited supply of oxygen. Next, I want you to really open your body by reaching up toward the sky. Are you having us do yoga now? Wonderful. Come yoga on. time. Kind of nice. And we're almost done the calibration. For calibrating exercise, I will ask you to stand up. Okay. And ignore the novel. Now, once you're centered, you can hold your hands in a relaxed position in front of you. And do not now look into your weight onto the nozzle. I want you to hold that for ten seconds. Okay. The nozzle is what calibrated. What could this possibly have to do with oxygen levels? It's about balancing. Literal balancing? Unbelievable. Almost there. Do not look away from the nozzle. Two, one, and that's ten seconds. The Excellent nozzle Eddie. has finished calibrating. Done great work here today. I've made note of these settings for the other parts of the station. Cool. So Thank we can you. move to the transit system now. The door out is just up the stairs, past the flowers. The flowers. Yes, the flowers. Any special door thingy we need to do? Air lock button. I'll pressure do my best rise. to get the oxygen mix just right in the rest of the station. Just let me know if anything is not quite working for you. You don't suspect Grace was shut down in a human conflict? Maybe. Or you were abandoned over time. Abandoned? We've walked away from a lot of great things. That seems quite... Silly of us to do, considering Grace was Very handling cool. these tracks move transport everything of this complex. Let's see if we can get this thing working. I suppose that would involve being over this way then. You wouldn't build a system like this if you didn't need to move a lot of people, which bodes well for finding something cool at the other end. This Jeez. must be the. Oh no! My controller got boomed. There we go. Transit control room. Looks like people worked here. Controls. Why is the panel open? Oh well, no controls. Power? There is no current running to this console. Control will be required to reroute power. Oh no, you control. You defied my wishes to tell the solar system of my return. I'm just looking for answers, boss. I am the only answer. Control? 
Fine. Okay, Where's the then? electrical access for the room? To the left of the rear door. But as I said, you will need control to reroute power to the console. This era of electronics is dead simple. Won't hurt to take a look. Sure. This should show the power status of the room's various systems. Well, nothing in the room is on standby. As I'd said. I'm gonna have to look at the breakers. My dad worked on older machines for a living. They're not predictable things. They have quirks. I sense that there is joy in this work for Addie. Well, I can tell you there is no joy running to any of those breakers. Sometimes a good whack will knock something into place. It's worth a try. Well, there's your problem right there. Someone's removed the entire power relay. That would do you. it. So why can't Control help us? Isn't he programmed to serve humans? He's more accustomed to tasks like maintaining power grids across entire planets. While I'm very much attuned to the needs of individuals. What about you, Logic? I apparently offer wisdom to the wind. <laughs> you activated control and empathy. For all the good that did us. Is there another configuration we can call on? Grace's core processors contain only these three systems. Okay. Can you combine the systems? Take the edge off control with a little empathy? I suppose it's possible. But there's no telling what the outcome of something like that would be. Could it be any worse than control? It can always be worse. It sounds I mean, like a wonderful idea, Addy. Control no, is I, a little controlling. What do I know? Don't blame me if he turns out to be a murderer. <laughs> Addy? Yep. It's me. Hello. Great. Uh, wh what are we doing again? We're powering up pods. So, you want to hotwire this thing? Yes, please. Yeah. All right. This Bring is pretty this cute. To go. You can meet me at the breaker panel. Okay. Uh, go ahead and flip the switches. You got it, pal. And I'm pal? Sure. We'll call you pal. Whipping the switches. Breakers look good. Now you can push the buttons that turn on the different systems. Uh, Power's up. I'll let you do the honors. Okay. Here we Wuta. go. Why is there a missing control oh, thingy? That's not good. I'm so sorry, Addy. I thought I would have enough power to do this for you. It seems so important. You to ride in a pod. I think the track is just jammed with ice. Ice? You'd think I would be able to handle a little ice. Hey, okay. calm down, buddy. It's fine. Is there uh, some kind of de-icing system or something? Hmm, I don't know. There is not. All right, let's That's cool. look for Thank something you, to deal logic. with the ice. Okay, how do we deal with the ice? Ooh. This looks like a Wilder's jetpack. It's been disassembled yeah, yeah. for some reason. Okay, well, we could probably use that. Oh, here's a not disassembled one. This one looks to be in working order. Would it be heavy enough to smash the ice? <laughs> Maybe. But I'm more interested in what that welding gun might do to the ice. Yeah. All right, pal. Let's try this one on for size. So, what's it going to do exactly? Oh, I think you're going to like it. This is a welder. See if it still works. Use welder. Look at that. A little blue light. That's not going to cut it. Are you able to control this? For you? I could definitely try. Thanks, Can you pal. open the fuel throttle to the torch? Okay. Whoa. I like that. What is it? That's called an icebreaker, pal. <laughs> Any idea where the flight controls are? Someone removed them. Okay. I can take control if you like. You know oh, that'd be is? nice. Looks pretty easy. Stuff shoots out the back and you get thrown up in the air. Just oh, control oh, how much oh, I get gosh. thrown, please. It's working. We can fly. Easy, pal. Well, where do you want to go? Uh, all right. If uh, if you can move me to the pod, we can have a look at the ice. And uh, pal, it's super important that you don't cut the engines or move too fast. I don't want to get hurt. I know, but it's great, isn't it? Yep. As long as you don't kill me. Come on. All right. This should be close enough. You can trust, pal. It's so bright and warm. Just hold me steady. This is really hard. Oh, 
Hold it steady, pal. You're doing it. You're doing it. It's these stupid flames are throwing me around. I think that's good. Let's have a look at the rest of the track. You got it. As long as you're not using the fire shooter, flying is pretty easy. Just keep it up, literally. Yes, There's more please. ice here on the right. Oh, hold it steady. Sorry. Hold it steady. Hold it steady. Melting the ice now. Please don't drop me. This seems like it kill me. Come on. A little bit more. Touch of love. There Let's we go. Going. Last bit here. Oh no, boss. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 stuff to do at least we don't have limited air supply to work it or do the stuff inside that's fun pal make a good team right yeah i like the part where we burn the ice while flying me too that okay, was, i'm gonna that bring was down good. the pod that was good can't lie pod portable on-demand shipping Hey, Pod! Uh, mind your head. So, where are we heading again? I will be able to obtain structure schematics once we reach the next level. You think we'll see any dead bodies? Hope so. That's perturbing. Do you know if the pod system has stops along the way? It does not. We are arriving at the track terminus now. Okay. Ooh, sleek white and uh Yeah. A little bit nicer than I expected. Uh, this looks like a settlement. Can't believe how well preserved it is. You think people could be alive in there? You should really consider thinking before you speak. And then consider not speaking. Logic. As long as life support is functional, it's not entirely impossible that someone's taken up here. Or they could be zombies. Well, that settles it. I'll disable Pal now. Don't you dare. We might need him. Yeah. But for now, we need to sign off on all this. So until next time, we'll explore and see if there's people. Or undead people. But until then... Jabby shining out. Y'all have a good one.